as you say, you know, previously many of these populations didn't really have access to the higher education system. So obviously that's what you've been uh, working to change. But how do you show them that um, higher education is within their reach and, and that it would help them improve their prospects and their lives? Well, first of all, we have to start with uh, dealing with the fear factor. Ultra-Orthodox Haredi men haven't studied math or English because the rabbis, very, very important for them, that the majority of learning will be around the Torah. So they haven't studied math, they, have, they haven't studied English. So we first have to do, we have to teach them, we have to close the gaps to make sure uh, that we give them the confidence that they actually could succeed. B, we have to give them the confidence. How do I talk to an Israeli secular? Okay, how do I, I haven't talked to anyone. I was in my shtetl. How do I have a conversation with modernity? How does modernity have a conversation with me without cutting me out, without telling me that the only way that I could come in is by saying that my heritage and my story have to be deleted? So building a lot of confidence. And then how do I make sure that the ultra-Orthodox succeed in finding jobs? Because if we have an academic program that at the end of the day they stay unemployed, no one's going to come. They are saying very clearly, we want to come through you, Hartman, but you have to guarantee that you find a job for me. I'm studying law, I'm studying accounting, I'm studying banking, occupational therapy, education, but I want to make sure that you are providing a job. So there's a contract here. Everybody has to be around the table. It's not secular changing for ultra-Orthodox. It's not ultra-Orthodox changing for secular Israel. It's everybody understanding, a coexisting, that you're coming to study, and at the end of the day, we will find you a job. That also means that the learning has to be different. Make sure that they are studying things that are, as we say in Yiddish, tachlis, meaning straight, clear, what the job market needs. Don't give me theories, Hartman. Give me what the job market needs, because I'm coming, forget, don't forget, he's 25, he's with seven children, I don't have time to, to spend with you at Ono for four years, and then come to the job market and say, now we have on-the-job training for another two, three years. That means I'm, I'm only be able to come into the job force and be successful when I'm 35. That can't be done. We have to make sure that what we're teaching them here is applied, clear exactly the needs of the job market. And that's what we're doing.